Hi guys, it's Al with Oliver. Today we're going to go over how to improve search engine optimization on your existing website using the ChatGPT plugin SEO Core AI. And this video is in response to Austin Carroll asking, is there one to optimize SEO on a website? So we're going to install it in the plugin store and it's completely free, which is great. And now we're in GPT-4 in our plugins beta and we're going to make sure our SEO Core AI is checked and activated. And we're going to say, how do I effectively use the SEO core AI plugin. So it's telling us to put in the URL of a website or a client website that we're trying to optimize and a keyword we wanna rank for, and then it will give us some suggestions. So we'll try it both ways. So I found this random example website called johnsplumbinghvac.com. And it seems like it's your average home service business with a bunch of employees. So we're gonna to go to ChatGPT and we're gonna say, optimize the SEO for this existing website. And then we're gonna put it in quotes and we're just gonna paste in our link from John's Plumbing and Heating, the random website. And we're gonna say, and make it better. Optimized for the keyword plumbing near me. And let's see what happens. So now it's using the SEO Core AI plugin, which is good. We always wanna make sure it's using these plugins and it understands exactly what we're saying. If not, try to rephrase the question a little bit. And it says, based on the analysis, here are some recommendations to optimize the SEO for the webpage John's Plumbing HVAC for the keyword plumbing near me. Title tag. The title of the page is currently about John's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning. It is recommended to include in the title tag, a possible optimized title could be John's Plumbing, Reliable Plumbing Near Me. So up here, instead of about John's Plumbing Heating, they're saying you should make your title John's Plumbing, Reliable Plumbing Near Me if you're trying to rank for Plumbing Near Me. Meta description. The meta description currently mentions plumbing and me, but it doesn't include the keyword near. It is recommended to include the full keyword in the meta description. An example of the optimized meta description could be looking for reliable plumbing near me. John's Plumbing provides top-notch services in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point, and the Pi. The tags currently do not include the keyword. It is recommended to include the keyword in these tags. For example, an H2 tag could be why choose John's Plumbing services near you. So. I guess over here where it says loyalty program, about us, careers, pay invoice, contact us, and then the about us. They literally are saying, you should write, why choose John's Plumbing Services near you? Could work, could not work, but they're saying include the word near, include why should I choose this, why you should choose it, because you're trying to answer a question. Somebody's probably gonna search this on Google and you're gonna be the answer to their plumbing problem, like their localized answer. Body content, the body content includes the keyword plumbing and me, but doesn't include near. It is recommended to include the full keyword in the body content. You could add sentences like, if you're searching for plumbing near me, you've come to the right place. John's Plumbing provides. So maybe you could have like a, a sort of an intro page or something and you're saying, instead of about us, oh, we are these people, we've been servicing this area for years. We can say, if you're searching for John's Plumbing in this area or in the triad area, and then we could take the rest of it and we could say, you've come to the right place. John's Plumbing provides heating, cooling, air conditioning. So it'll say, okay, here's your answer and here's John's Plumbing. So you're trying to answer the question and then kind of insert your company into these random people's lives when they have these plumbing problems in your area. Site speed, the site load speed is quite good, which is beneficial for SEO. That's good. The site map, the analysis couldn't find a site map. It is recommended to create a site map and submit it to the Google search console. Now a site map, if you're optimizing for SEO, you can basically prioritize all your pages and kind of tell Google's crawler engine, hey, when you're on this page, try to prioritize these other pages next because this is the most important stuff where it's like, if people are looking for plumbing services, talk about the services you provide versus how the company was started and who the founders are or anything like that. So you can prioritize, hey Google, go to my website and then go to these services in your crawler engine to rank me higher than the other people. And then SSL. So the site has SSL, which is good for SEO and user trust, so security. Remember, while optimizing for keywords, it is important, it is also crucial to maintain a natural and user-friendly language. So now it's giving us some advice, which is also nice. Over-optimization can lead to penalties from search engines. Also, SEO improvements may take time to reflect in search engine ranking. So be patient and consistently monitor your progress. This is something I also learned with YouTube. With some of my videos, in the beginning, somebody was telling me, hey, put a lot of keywords in your description. But realistically, YouTube understands and Google also understands if somebody's looking for a video and you just kind of trick them into clicking on it with a keyword, 
and they don't watch it, they're not going to recommend your videos to those types of people anymore. And they're just going to say, hey, this is a bad video or hey, this is a bad plumbing service provider because the person who was searching for plumbing near me didn't really have a good experience with this person because their site was all about plumbing for luxury bathrooms instead of commercial plumbing or anything like that. So what you really want to do as a business is have your specific service targeted to people who you actually want to buy from you like your actual customers, and then just optimize your website, optimize all your content to really approach that specific customer instead of just trying to do a blanket, broad approach and try to trick people into caring about you or your business who really won't buy and really won't be satisfied. This is AI with Oliver. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is SEO optimization for existing websites using SEO Core AI. We have a whole series about all of this stuff. We're gonna cover AI news, tech news, everything you need to do to grow your business and become a tech enabled citizen. Thank you very much. Bye.